Hello guys, I am, I have tried the Spellbook engine. Now in my original guide, I said that I wasn't really too fond of it because it required my normal summon. And then Spellbook of Knowledge, if you drew it first before your other combo pieces, well what happened is that you can't send Pendulum Monsters to the graveyard. So when you use Spellbook of Knowledge to send like Baby Jackal to the graveyard, it will instead go to the extra deck and therefore you will not draw the two cards. Someone recently told me that people have have you know teched in to kind of bypass that. Artemis, since she can turn any level four or lower spellcaster into a link monster, right? So I have decided to try it again. So I used my materials to try the spellbook engine. I reduced Baby Jackal to one because I only really use Baby Jackal for his field effect. So if I drew into this and this, I mean, he's not really a brick because he does ha he does have a pendulum effect, but I just I just wanted to reduce the amount of that I see him if I'm also going to be using this instead for my normal summon. I've also reduced Garuda and Reflection by one. I will still use three Garudas and two Reflections. The only reason I reduced them was so that I can draw into this card for the purpose of this video. You know, draw, draw into it more times. Since I only do uh, dailies uh, so far, not so far, but as of recent, I've only been playing to, to do dailies. But anyways, I will say that this is actually a pretty good uh, tech. I will say, a pretty good engine. I will say that it does have a slight weakness in that if they do, so I love to use Servant and Baby Jackal together, where you will normal summon a Baby Jackal and then you put Servant in the Pendulum Zone. And what will happen is that your opponent has to decide which one to Ash. So they can either Ash this to, to stop you from getting Jackal King, but then they must allow you to get Jackal King from her. And then same vice versa. So, which, so with, uh, Spielbook of, with Spielbook of Magician, what will happen is if they end up Ashing this, he kind of becomes a dead card on the field because you can't really use him to go into Electromite either and you could use him to go into like Phoenix if you needed it but if he but if he gets ashed essentially you can't go into Electromite and that can become an issue now Jackal does tribute himself right so if if, if Jackal if baby Jackal got ashed he will be gone however since he is a pendulum monster he does have a, a lot more synergy with the deck, especially if you have like Jackal King in your hand, where you could use Servant Effect to summon, you know, Endymion, and then use Jackal King to then retrieve this from the field, sorry, from the field, from the extra deck. And then you have a choice where, since his monster effect is that a once per turn, you can actually get spell counters again, and then use its effect to tribute itself, summon, let's say, Cerberus, and then link away Cerberus and Servant to go into Electromite. See what I mean? Where Spellbook Magician of Prophecy doesn't have that same synergy. So if he gets Ash, I feel like that hurts you a lot more. Where if where if Jackal gets Ashed, he goes to the extra deck, but it's not that big of a deal, especially since he has a plethora of search cards, being Cerberus, Abductor, and even Institution. So all in all, I will say that it's actually a pretty good engine. Um, I was against it. Now I'm not for or against it. It's now just based on preference. So this is my deck list that I used for this video. And like I said, I would still use two reflections, two reflections and three Garudas. I only switched it up so that I can draw into this more, just so that I can get duels where I have used it more. So yeah.